Hey, it's Aaron Stell, the Technology Marketing Director with WFG National Title here in Portland. Want to give you a quick tip on how to connect both zip forms and DocuSign uh, so that you have all of your tags already set up. And more importantly, it'll make it quicker when you are trying to write offers for your clients. So first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we go over here to the top right side and you're going to click on your name and say view profile right here. So after you say view profile, you need to go over here to the left side where it says settings and you need to make sure that right here it says DocuSign and then you plug in your username and password for DocuSign. So this is not your zip forms password, this is your DocuSign username and password. So then you click save, everything will be updated and we're ready to move forward. So I'm going to click right here on transactions. Um, in this situation, I'm just going to whip through a mock transaction real quick. So I'm going to say new. Um, this is going to be test transaction two. And I will go ahead and I'm just going to say it's a purchase residential, say apply template. And we'll call it the, uh, we'll call it the Gary template because that was a, another fake client that I was working with. So when I open this up, I've now got, as you can see, I've got all of the different uh, transactions or the different sheets I need. I've got my buyer already put in here because this was a buyer created template. I've got all of my information in here. If I use MLS Connect right up here, I can pull information on a house. I'm not going to even worry about that right now for this demonstration. So let's assume I've gone through and put all of the information I need in for this transaction. So I'm gonna click right here on e-sign. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to say sign multiple forms and I will pick the forms that I want to have signed so I don't need the cover sheet and I'm going to say next and what this is going to do is it's going to pull up the parties in the contract. Um, with this situation Gary is my buyer. Um, I always want to make sure I have his email address inserted in the cover sheet or in the transaction page. So I'll do that and I will click done. So if you notice, it's got his information here. I click next. And what this is going to do is this is actually going to bring up DocuSign inside of zip form. So we're still in zip forms, but DocuSign is actually being loaded up, which once again, will make sure that all of the tags, so sign and date. And if I go down here and go initial and date, all of that is already going to be put there. So I would double check everything. Make sure that that's right. If there's something that's not right, you go up here to the left where this little arrow is and you can say go back. This will allow you to add parties, to add additional documentation if you need, um, change the email, however you need to do that. But then we can just say next again here to the right on the top right. And then after I've checked everything, made sure everything's what is uh, supposed to be on there is correct, I would just hit send and that would then go out. So that's all you need to do to get a transaction out of zip forms, go through DocuSign and out to your client.